that, and the reason I, I had brought that up was because I've heard this defined, uh, especially as of late in different uh, gaming communities, um, I've heard it defined differently. I mean, a campaign is a setting. It's it's the setting that the world takes place and all the adventures take place and that's that's the campaign. Um, uh, gener mul you can have multiple generations of characters inside a campaign. You can have uh, you know, Forgotten Realms, that's, that's the campaign setting. Playing uh, Greyhawk, that's the campaign. Playing A1 through 4, you know, the Slave Lords in Greyhawk, that's not the campaign. That's just the adventures we're going on. Um, the campaign is Greyhawk. Um, but I've heard that defined, uh, a lot of people have defined uh, Pathfinders, uh, um, char their, their, their character paths, or whatever the hell they call them. Um, I've heard them defined as campaigns. No, the world they're in, that's the campaign. They're just modules. Um, they may be a series of modules, and there's nothing wrong with that, that's great, but they're, they're still modules, they're not a campaign. Till a character, till a group of characters play out. I mean, sometimes characters play out because they retire, sometimes they play out because they die. Sometimes they, uh, um, that, again, this can depend on the setting, though, or the system. Like Pendragon, you you have generations of characters because one of the goals of your character is to have children and to have an heir, and then you're you're supposed to play that character. Um, and what you do with one character when you're playing the one uh, the initial character that affects the next one um, and affects that character's generation actually when you're actually creating them. Um, so it, it it depends, but to me, that a generation of characters is just that it's it's um, a, a you know whatever the group is now the party until the group plays out you know the party could have multiple members still. Um, we had one in my one campaign um, where I think total the adventuring party probably had something like twenty six twenty seven members total over the course of its existence. Because characters had characters died, characters retired, but the party kept going, and then there were a couple people that were that actually were core from the beginning to the end of it. Um, but that was all one generation within the campaign. Oh yeah, certainly. Um, I take a take this and equivalent it to Marvel. Marvel was like, all right, we have our campaign. All of these characters exist within this one world, and then all of a sudden they're like, but wait, we want to do something else that can't exist in this world. Oh, Ultimate Edition. We'll just put them all over here. Different campaign, same characters. So in that sense, you can have innumerable amounts of characters in the same campaign over time, some of which may meet each other, some of which may be in opposite ends of the world. And in that sense, it all connects, even though it doesn't directly connect. It's all there. Um, honestly, it can be different, but it doesn't have to be different, so to speak. Uh, for me, a campaign is a continuous string of events that all are interwoven and affect one another. It's where, if you make a decision, that decision can come back to haunt you in two months. People will remember what you did. People will remember your names and your deeds. Um, I know that there's a lot of role-playing games out there that are just kind of like mini-sessions. They're not meant to be epic, grandiose adventures. And that's okay. If you consider this kind of like, you know, a comic book issue, you get like 30 pages all in color, it's pretty quick. Nice one night read. But if you pair that up to something that's a trilogy of novels, then it's completely different. The characters are much more involved. You know, your world is much more in depth, both socially and I guess environmentally with everything around you. So there is a lot more thought and a lot more development involved in a campaign as opposed to just kind of relaxing for a night to blow off some steam. I equivalent this kind of to like a mini quest type thing. A mini quest could be part of your campaign, but it's not designed to be continuous. It's not designed for you to go back there for the next five months with your players. It's just a small aspect to a greater picture or a bigger world.
Right. That's that's almost. I mean, that's he, he stretches a campaign to be a, a longer storyline, but rather than module play, and and that's true. There's not the, that's that's accurate. There is you can have a longer effect, but I still say the campaign is. The campaign is the world that the GM is running, and now I understand that, that means that yeah, there's the, like say the Greyhawk setting for example. Yeah, the Greyhawk setting, I might run the, a Greyhawk campaign, and then you may run one. Doesn't mean they're the same campaign; they're two separate campaigns. I may run one for ten years. I may want run one for a year. Um, but yeah, I, that just the campaigns have a little bit more vested in them. You, there's there's effects going on. That's the whole point of the campaign world is to have that the, the campaign settings to have that living world around the characters, um, and it's definitely different from module play. And that was one of the appeals of the living settings when those came out, because the idea was to give, because you can't run a campaign at um, say a once a year event at a, at a con or something. Well, those living settings kind of gave you the opportunity to participate in a campaign, you know, in that fashion, because the world went on. And it was affected somewhat by the adventures the characters ran on, even though you were only playing at a modular level, the characters still continued, you know, from year to year. But, so, I mean, yeah, he's, he, he defines it similar. similar. I just, I, I think he still sells it a little short. There's, there's still a step beyond.